Uh, Frank Noyes, uh, Cincinnati Sports Medicine, Cincinnati, Ohio. I always joke with my fellows when they come in at the beginning of the year and I say, maybe you don't have to be here. Here's the book, just go home and read it. And, and of course, it is true that, and, and it, they, in fact, our fellows do read the entire book as they go through. But it's, it's a great resource for them. It's a great resource for residents. It's also a resource for fellowships, for people who have trained with other, uh, other surgeons. We, we, are, we have so many excellent surgeons in the United States and fellowship programs. And for those that may not have seen as many posterior lateral reconstructions or posterior cruciate or faced with osteotomies or difficult decision making, I think it's a really good resource for them. One of the uh, stellar features of the book, if I can brag about our fellows, is that the first two chapters have what I think is one of the finest presentations of knee, knee anatomy that exists in any publication. And we uh, took all of the knee anatomy textbooks, the Sabatas, the Cunningham, the Gray anatomies, we looked at what they called structures, what was the nomenclature used. We then took cadavers and dissected out all of the little parts that you hear about. Uh, we have expert photography that illustrates that. And then we had an illustrator, Joe Choven, who is the illustrator for Gray's Anatomy. And he produced, I think, some of the most finest illustrations on knee anatomy that currently are in publication form. And we have a section then on medial anatomy and anterior anatomy that two of our fellows uh, champion. And then we have uh, another section on di very difficult lateral and posterior lateral anatomy. So uh, the superb fellows that spent a great deal of time in doing that, uh, Dr. Detterline, uh, Dr. Strickland, uh, Dr. Fester, and Dr. Babb. And as a matter of fact, that section that they produced uh, is a videotape now that the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons has in, in Blu-ray. And it actually was given the award at the meeting a year ago as one of the best videos uh, for the annual meeting. So for those that are doing knee surgery, if you really want to see up front, close and personal, what knee anatomy really looks like, it, it's a very, very good uh, resource to go to. One of the things we were really pleased about is to have the website as a companion to the book. And on the website we have more than nine hours of videotape. We have a lot of surgical video, we have meniscus transplants, the operative technique showing the actual operative surgery, medial meniscus, lateral meniscus, we have osteotomy. But one of the things that we really like is really kind of like a YouTube of rehabilitation in our clinic. And we go into the clinic with our rehab staff and we take patients that are the actual patient that are different weeks after their surgical procedure. And we show what we're trying to achieve, what the problems are, uh, motion problems, strength problems. Uh, if they're at four weeks, here's what we want to accomplish by eight weeks uh, for a number of different operative procedures. All of the time stressing immediate motion, uh, rehabilitation, uh, uh, functional rehabilitation. And then for some of our more complex surgical procedures, we, we stress the amount of time that it takes to really rehab the knee, really get the muscle strength back. We show different tricks that we use to, to really rehabilitate the entire lower extremity. And remember, it's just not the knee joint. It's the hip joint, the hip muscles, gait retraining, problems with gait and gait abnormalities that we have to design out of the program. So it's a very comprehensive kind of one-on-one, -on -one, like you're right with us, participating in this decision making uh, with actual patients that have undergone a surgical procedure. It's been a very popular thing really for us and, and a lot of people that have had the videotape have complimented our team on taking that team approach. When we decided who would publish this wonderful book that we've been 
working on, we have really been pleased with Elsevier. And uh, to say really pleased would be an understatement. We've been super pleased with Elsevier. And if you look at the quality of the book, the entire process was based on quality, from the front cover to the beautiful art illustrations, all of the color photographs, the anatomy, the way the book is laid out in different sections, the quality of the paper that was selected. It, those are all really important things that we wanted and it was a delight, I have to say, to work with the Elsevier team. Every, every step of the way, they were with us. So we thank Elsevier very much. It was a wonderful experience for us.